Hello everybody, my name is Takreva and welcome to a let's play of Civilization V, A Brave New World, playing as Maria Theresa of the Austrian Empire, who is noble and virtuous. Um, Queen Maria Theresa, Holy Roman Empress and Sovereign of Austria, the people bow to your gracious will, etc, etc. And it's uh, going to be a fun game. Um, well, I say that, I don't, just don't have to do the stupid things I did last time. But basically, the Ottomans, it's just like constant war. It gets really boring, dragging out. I just, I knew I was going to lose it in the end because the Huns were completely misregarded and everything. So by the AI and by myself. So I just couldn't deal with the game. It, it would have been a loss and it would have just, if I'd continued it, it would have just dragged out. So that's why I'm starting over again. This time is Maria Theresa of the of Austria, because Austria is such a big stonking mess in Europa Universalis already. I thought, why not add to it by playing her in Civilization? Well, in, in that sense, the next game should definitely be France, because it really goes up in steps from the Ottomans to Austria, past Russia, somewhere along the way, to France being the ultimate big blue blob, as you might know from my other Let's Play. Anyway, Austria has diplomatic marriage, can spend gold to annex or puppet a city-state that has been your ally for five turns. Which is a much better way of taking over city-states, because I don't think it gives you any warmongering penalties. Because it doesn't give Venice any, so... Hussar is its uh, special cavalry unit. It replaces. It um, it gets flank attack enhanced. It gets extra sight. And it seems to have the same... I think it has the same amount of combat damage at 34. There's also the coffee house, which replaces uh, the windmill. Uh, yes, it replaces the windmill. It gives 5% production instead of, I think, 10 or 15 that the windmill gives. But it also gives a straight up plus two production, which the windmill doesn't give, as far as I remember. And it can be built in every city location. It doesn't have to be on flatlands like the windmill. So I will actually, here's the start, but I will actually look up the windmill. So it's a renaissance building. So the coffee house replaces the windmill, well, which is a straight up 10%. It does give the plus two production. So, um... Which makes the coffee house, it's, it gives increased great people generation, but it also doesn't require flat land to build on. But it does reduce the amount of hammers you get by 5% less. This is an extremely good city location to start on. The only thing missing is a lot more desert around here. But we have a mountain, we have a hill, we have a river. So I'm going to start exploring this way. You can already see that these cows will be in range, these won't, so these cows will probably be part of Vienna. Oh, here's another mountain already. Um, first things first, let's get a scout at the very least. And the only downside is, of course, the fact that we don't get a pretty good starting tile besides. So we don't have a lot of starting resources, except for the starting location of the city being just great. But... Um, yeah, hopefully we can grow soon enough into those things. Now, with this start, we will definitely want to pick up Calendar pretty damn early. But it's also a good idea to just get started on pottery regardless. The granary is really good, strong in the beginning and in the later stages of the game. So we'll want that regardless. Everyone should have settled by now. Here we see gems appearing and our first ruin. I think there's already going to be a second city location here with the dice, the gems, the stone. So it's going to be a close by. Oh. Hello, Portugal. Well, we do get more incense here. We have a uh, desert over here. But Portugal is right next door, which is going to be an issue. So we really have to um, pump out that first settler to get some aggressive settling going. And hopefully counter whatever she sends out as well. Lots of gems as well here. So we're going to get to a early settler. Let's see, what should we build next? Um, let's start exploring the other way at the very least. It's just I really do dislike that they're so close. 
16 turns. It would take 14 turns right now to build a worker, which is a bit long. Hmm. It is long, but I think we'll kind of have to do that. Five turns to grow, two turns faster on the settler, though. I think getting that worker is going to be more beneficial, as I'm going to try and go for a tradition opener for a change. There's a ruin over there. Yeah, the problem is with the AI on the hard difficulty levels. They will send out their settlers a lot earlier than on other ones. There's a lot of mountains, though, to the south, which is good. Maybe if we're lucky, we can get a... Um, we can intercept her settler if she doesn't. Ugh, barbarians. Barbarians everywhere. If she doesn't actively... Um, guard it and escorts it to wherever she wants to go. Then again, from... Um, wow, there are a lot of mountains. Jesus. It's like we're living in the Alps. So yeah, getting these resources is going to be invaluable. This is going to that first city we're going to place is going to be very aggressively expanding forward. Still no uh, thing there, which is good. Now we have pottery. We kind of want to get into calendar because of the uh, stuff around us. Okay, the city has grown. Of course, it's going to get that tile. Uh, let's see. It grows in twelve turns, and worker just reset tiles. 12 turns, yeah, this should be fine. We got the bit of bonus production. Shaved off a turn. In favor of a little bit of growth. Uh -huh. Okay, there's some look good looking area over here as well. It, but yeah, from experience, Portugal is not really an expanding sieve, uh, if I remember correctly. They do try to... St they, I think they are a tradition quite often and then stay quite small as well. Ah, a free pop growth. That's actually extremely useful. Okay, there's a city-state to the north, which makes this an extremely good city location. But so would this one to next to the mountain. Incense, everything. All depends on can we get our settler out early enough. Really. And I sincerely hope I do. Uh, okay, it's a um, military city-state. Which is fine for now, really. I have noticed, though, that there hasn't been a pantheon yet. No, there have been zero pantheons, which means that the... Um, that's a hill, I think. Zurich, also not been discovered. Okay, um... Spent 500 gold to acquire the city-state through diplomatic marriage. Not incur diplomatic penalties on the unhappiness penalties of conquering. Bonuses and world conquest delegates you receive from friendship with the city, however, will be lost. Which means we are going to play a heavy uh, game of um, gold and diplomacy. That's the most important part, of course, is the fact that it doesn't incur the wrath of annexing a city-state forcibly. We just need to make sure that these uh, Portuguese don't send out that guy in my direction, really. Very important. So I think what I'm going to build next, well, a granary is really useful. And I can get a settler in 16 turns. I want a shrine first, and then I'm going to go shrine into settler. I'm not going to pick up the monument because we're going to get it for free from uh, building, for taking tradition. Going to get that one for free. And this is a problem. Yeah, we'll have to send our um, spearmen to deal with. Barbarians are bad. I know I'm trespassing. Oh, look, he hit me, but I hit back. Ah, there's an encampment. Okay, you're going to build me a farm there. This is probably the safest location. Um, gold per turn. Well, I don't really lose anything with an embassy, so just give me your gold. Your tired and huddled masses as well, if you can afford it. 
calendar, which is good. Okay, kill that. Now, well, the red library is good. I don't think we will ever be able to get to it. <laughs> because, you know, the AI and such. Um, coffee house is money and diplomacy. I think just going for animal husbandry next is the best option. Minor defeat. They get fortification. We get bonus for being against barbarians, but that's about it. First pantheon, Earth Mother. Ooh, big science game for that one. I think going with the desert folklore, if it's still available at that time, will be the most useful one for me in this particular situation. Because we do have some desert in our capital, but there will be a lot more desert in our future cities. So, there's that. Keep checking on Lisbon for a settler to come out. Two turns for the... Uh, stop. For the shrine, and then we're going instant... Ah, oh, I need to wait one more turn, though. Because... Oh, hello there. Uh, which means you are going to hit the city for a turn or a few. Whichever is needed. First policy, tradition, gives us plus three culture, which boosts our early culture game. What I need is more... Ah, they're moving along. There it is. There's the settler. Because if they do nothing for a turn, I can see what the settler will be doing. Ah, uh, yes, a settler. We need to wait one turn, so I'm going to put one turn into the granary. And then I'll switch over to being a settler. Okay, since they moved away, it is safe for me to move here and finish the farm. They are moving south, which is good. I need to keep following them, so that means that they might prefer to settle on coastline anyway. That is true. And I think we're going to beeline for mathematics because we are tradition. Uh, it's We don't have much production yet in our capital. Which is a shame. Very didn't return. Oh, hello. Where are you going with this guy? Yeah, they'll probably get that uh, campment now. Gods of Protection, which is, I think, the basic one they will always go for. Okay, now I don't see the settler anymore. And it's back in their city for now. Of course, upgrade to a plantation. Wait, one more turn for full health. They have a quite sizable army. And we'll just keep our guy over here, just to uh, scout it out. Ooh! Good locations for cities everywhere. Uh, they might be going this way as well. They have a huge army already. Jesus. We have one spearman and one scout. They have... Please keep going that way. That would be wonderful. And Germany is also in this game. I haven't been exploring as much, but... Okay, they're going south, which is perfect for us. So there's marble, there's gems, there's gold here. I would like this location as well, though. Adopting a policy, getting legalism for even more culture is really good. There we go, we finished the plantation. Um, no, I would like an embassy from you, not to you. You haven't discovered that yet. Mount Kailash. Yeah, that would be a good reason to go somewhere and settle. I don't want to go for the... Uh... Yeah, I want to go there. Because there was a barbarian running around there. And it's probably coming from that camp over there. And it's just... Okay, they keep going this way, which is perfect. Then again, they might already have a second settler going on. Zurich targets that encampment that's near to them. Uluru, hello! Oh, and it's inside a city-state as well. Huh. That's probably going to be a city-state I'm going to buy up really early on. 
as early as I possibly can. And let's scout more. What do we have? Riga. Okay. Um, pledge to, to uh, protect, of course. And let's cross the river so we actually can move north faster again. Didn't cost me a turn at all. Hand axe. Yeah, sure. Take more. Take some good hits on them. We're playing on a Pangea map, by the way, on the Immortal difficulty, of course. So it wouldn't be really a good thing to drop down in uh, difficulty, in my opinion. Words of Vienna have grown to get that cow. I was going to say horse, but it's not a horse, it's a cow. Of course, of course, it's a horse, it's a horse. This location is actually even better. Three gems, gets the gold, lots of uh, cattle, gets even some signs as well. Okay, I'm going to send you there so we can escort our settler around. I think that's reasonably safe to improve now the cattle up there. Temple of Artemis and Classical Era for someone. The wheel, and one more turn. One more freaking turn. There we go. Let's get a pasture in. Actually increase our production for a change. Zurich desires a trade. You're going to do nothing this turn. You just keep scouting. Oh, they need to cross the river there as well. I think I'm going to settle there then. Or should I just settle right here? It's really close by, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep exploring a bit more. Let's get landed elite for even more growth and food in our capital. Five turns, and then it's size five already. And the granary will be done in ten turns. Wow, more mountains. Mountains everywhere. Yeah, see? Ooh, we even get one, two, three marble. Marble and gold in one city. Jesus, that's a seriously good spot, this one. And it's again on a hill, so we wouldn't be able to get a windmill, but the coffee house is still available. I get it. Borders of Vienna have grown, and we get a pantheon as well. Which is perfect right now. So, um, we have the two desert tiles. There's quite enough desert around us to warrant getting desert folklore I I think it is yeah so it hasn't been taken yet then again what else F getting more uh, faith to grow faith is always good um, wine and incense isn't there one for culture and faith for wine and incense well there's a shit ton of incense around it will make monasteries also extremely powerful to get as well yeah, I'm gonna do that instead. Um, the amount of incense, one, two, three. Ah, this is just out of range, but we were possibly still going to sell a city here. Hmm. There's definitely going to be a city right there on this hill, though. Yeah. Which gives us two incense. So, then again, there is this. This is fresh water. So, yeah, we are going to go with desert folklore. There's a folklore, indeed it is. Words of Vienna have grown. We get to settle our first city on turn 47, which is late. But, ooh, I'm so glad I sent that spearman along now. Otherwise, we would have lost our settler already. Maria entered the classical era. We'll be there in 10 turns now. We find Brussels as well as Mount Kilimanjaro, which is one of my favorite ones to get, or to find in the general sense. Let's settle a city. I would like to... Yeah, a shrine would be strong, a granary would be amazing. But I think just building an archer is the best. And almost kill that one, that's good. I'm also going to buy an archer in our capital. I mean, what else am I going to use the money for? And now we get some more protection as well. We're going to get to a 
No, well, we can protect our worker from uh, building that plantation over there. Which is where we're going first. Um, it cannot get any more experience, so giving it more uh, health loss would not be useful at all. Um, we will settle what lands we please, Miss Portugal. Just so you know. That's an extremely good city location, so I'm not going to give it up to you. Ife gives us four bonus faith. Of course, we're going to pledge to protect it. And we have the upgrade. This is why I love Mount Kilimanjaro. The altitude training upgrade, which doubles movement in hill. Which is insane. Uh, you're just going to alert here for now. You're going to heal in Salzburg. Hey, I hear a cat in my room. Hello, German scout. World's most progressive people. They are ahead by two social policies. But we are getting eight culture per turn now. And we are probably going to... We are very, very likely going to get one of the religions. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, great library has been built on turn 50, which is actually quite late. In my opinion. Okay. Um, Words of Vienna have grown to what tile? Oh, there. More of that stuff. Fine. Build me a plantation. Are you working? Yeah, they are working that tile. Even though it's not giving me any food right now. Hmm. So it's just giving me the gold and the faith, and it will give me more faith, or more gold. I mean, in a couple of turns. Um. Let's see. We are at seven. Yeah, water mill is a bit too expensive. I want another settler after the granary. Just gonna have to stunt the grow of our capital a little bit longer. But making sure we settle that tile will be important still. Huh, lots of mountains to our south, which means we should only be able to be invaded from the east. Pretty much, as long as we... Yeah, Riga will be ours at one point. Zurich is under attack. You're just going to heal up a bit. You have healed. Let's get another look at the um, Portuguese again. They're already making 24 gold per turn. Holy balls, that's a lot. Wow. Religion founded. Uh, Islam has been founded. Hopefully they... Let's actually have a look. Trade route. No, no, no. Uh, religion overview. Uh, that's the copper, iron, and salt, which was to be expected. We, I think we might get the second one, but I cannot be sure, of course. Science, when a missionary of prophet spreads the religion and faith to purchase mosques. That's actually good enough for me to... Uh, they have mosques. I think that monasteries are going to be extremely powerful for us as well. That would be 50 to buy, which would dissuade them to go there and it allows me to buy the marble as well we're gonna have to get mining and quarries next so i'll just finish this turn and get mathematics which progresses us to the next era which is pretty good and we are in the classical era uh, let's see worker is actually completed already we can start on a road to salzburg or we can upgrade vienna some more um, I think I'm going to upgrade this city some more than... You're just going to stick around here because I need to... Currency... Ooh, that's Petra, though. This is a very, very good location for a Petra. Oh, yes. But first, mining, masonry, currency. That's what we're going to research. And that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, let's just have one final look at the demographics. We're last on population, but Lisbon has a size 8 city, which means that the larger one city is, the more it's, uh, it's a uh, progressive scale. Uh, anyway, prop yield 6. It's not bad, but it's, wow, not very high either. Goods also 6. Uh, we just don't have a production capability. GNP is okay, but... Again, Portugal, what the hell. 
land we're doing fine even though we're six it just means we have a bit less culture than the others Soldiers were last, literacy were last, but because we don't have writing yet and everyone else does, and writing gets you off that 0%, because you actually need to be able to write to read, and literacy means how well you can read. Approval is low, but we are at 7 happiness, and we have 3 more unused um, happiness resources anyway. So I want to thank you all for watching, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep updated on this Let's Play and any others that I do. I will see you guys later.